guys, I have a box opening today and I have a couple box openings that will be coming up and this um, baby was a custom that I, oh my goodness, <laughs> sent to have painted and um, it's a kit that I pre-ordered myself and then I, I had her and I was kind of wondering where should I have her painted or when should I have, when should I have her painted and um, I just decided on the artist and got her in for her custom time and got her painted. So, really excited. So here she is and there's these thank you stickers for your support for my small business. Paper. There is that. Um, I don't really, um, I think this is, I don't really, I think you can say if you want a, like a box opening, and I, I didn't choose a box opening. Just a blanket and the baby coming home, so that's just packaging. I'm going to lay this blanket on top of this Christmas colored blanket. All right. Is she smaller than I? I don't know what size. And you, I mean, I get you see the kits, and then you get them, and they're not assembled. And I didn't like take her out and like lay her out or whatever. So she's tinier than I thought. So that's kind of fun. I like these pink with the white blanket. I love these white blankets too. So she is a newer kit, and it's not one that you even really have, that I have really seen around. I've seen just a couple of them. So we'll start down here. She's got onesies and sock on, and here's her little legs. This is an artist that I have had before. Um, she painted Dwayne, or Dwayne Awake, but he was in albini albinism um, colors, and I think I just got her just like kind of paley newborn -y colors, Caucasian, so. And her little feet. <laughs> oh, and I love her texture. And there's a little feet. I love her coloring. I love seeing the motley. So, these are some good legs. I like these legs. Look at these legs. One's kind of more straight than the other. She's so she's so much tinier than I was imagining. And and Dwayne was bigger, so that's funny. Let's see, she doesn't have anything on her head. Oh, what a fun onesie. This is a cute onesie. Long sleeves, so she's, her hands are all tucked in here and protected. I love actual, like, real newborn babies in these long sleeve onesies with their little hands covered. But their legs are out. So here's her hands and her arms. Sorry, I'll show. Let me get them uncovered. Again, I love her coloring. Cute little hand. I like this little open hand that you can like hold your finger in. And I like that this one has fingers out too. I'm not against fists, but I like fingers and so I like having them more open. Um, just don't know if this will stay open. Okay. So are we ready to see her cute, cute face? And she's waited 
so good. I get her on the on the form. I choose I think medium, medium floppy. So she's like heavy, but not super heavy, but floppy. Ready? Ta da! <laughs> she's got plastic on her head. So. I'm not even sure who her artist is, so I'm gonna have to open her ceiling to figure that out. Or her her sculpting artist, her sculptor. Oh, baby, I don't have scissors. Hello. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so cute. Hello. <laughs> I didn't know her eyes like sunk in like that. <laughs> Look at there she is. She is the Piper sculpt, and you cannot see her hair very well. I wanted thin white hair because I wanted this forehead and this noggin just accentuated. I didn't want her bald, but kind of kind of baldish. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she's so cute. Hey, see her hair. I don't know if I, it's going to be dark, but we might be able to see her hair better. No. There's like lights and <laughs> her face. Oh. <laughs> so I saw this kit, um, but she was rooted, but it was like really thinly rooted. And it was, it must have been one of the, um, prototypes. And I was just like, oh my goodness, love that baby. So when her pre-order came out, I had to get her. Her eye is kind of weird to me. I almost feel like it's like dented in. I don't know if. She's so cute. And she. She had this bow on in her pictures, which helps because she could be a boy or a girl really easily, but she's a little girl, a little piper. Can we get your hair? Can you see it? You can see her texture. See her hair? It's very, I mean, she has a swirl. And she has like this little swirly on her bangs, which is really cute. You can see it off camera. And her artist is Tiny Gifts Nursery. She painted Dwayne. And she offered to make her hair darker because in the pictures it wasn't picking up real well. And she said when she put the varnish on that it kind of hit it a little more. But I mean, I think this baby would be adorable bald. And so I didn't mind her light hair. Look out, look at her. She's so cute. You see her hair? Her ears. Her cute eyes. You're adorable. She even has like thin rooted eyelashes. I really need like a better camera. Won't be happening but I could use a better camera. So here's the baby. Oh, look at her paperwork so we can give credit to. So this is her, she's the Piper by Sherry Rond. So, and she's number 228 of 800. Um, I think she's 18 inches, yeah, right here. Piper by Sherry Rond. She was born in June of 2021. She's 18 inches and weighs six pounds. And she's by Tiny Gifts Nursery. And I really love her painting style. So, like I said, she painted my Dwayne awake. And I, um, I was really tempted to get her like out and painted in albinism, but I thought I can't do that. I can't have them all like that. So 
and I didn't want her like super newborn-y bright bright color pinks and stuff I think I think what I chose was perfect for her in my idea of what I wanted for her oh isn't she adorable I am so happy with her I love her hair I love the kit I love how she's painted I love how she's weighted oh she's so sweet and I think she kind of has an open mouth it's, it's like Spanish that you probably could maybe fit a uh, modified passbar in there I think I asked for a magnet let's see this is my bag of pacifiers I have sitting here right now because I don't like to keep pacifiers in my mouths when they're sitting out but I like to have them if I'm changing them or holding them or on the rare occasion lately taking a picture so let's see if she has a pacifier yes she does that is going the wrong way this one has a good magnet. I bought some magnets and they're not very good. Okay. We will find one that is going the right way. This is one that I made and the path the magnets just aren't very they don't hold very well. I feel like I have a lot of babies with the same magnet and then I have like these rare these rare ones that go the other way. So and I have a whole bunch in here I need to make. How about one of these? Let's do one of these. She put the pet the magnet more down on her chin, probably because of her open because of her open mouth. So like this pacifier is gonna stick down on her chin. So I'll probably have to I can't get that to go right now. I'll probably have to make a pacifier for her specifically that has the passive has the magnet up higher on it because or down lower because see like this one that's in the middle that's too stuck in her pass far with our chin. <laughs> so I was thinking I had a couple like that in here but I don't. And here's kind of a modified one. I'm almost wondering if you could like clip the whole bottom part and just have like the plastic, not the plastic, the silicone top that it would slide in. So I have a couple I could try that with that I bought. A lot of these need magnets put on them. And that's part of why they're in here too. I've cut the nipples off, but I don't have magnet stuff in. Anyway, so she does have a magnet, but we're probably not going to be able to see her with one because it's lower. <laughs> that one kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of doesn't work. That's okay. Anyway. Magnets are fun. Magnet passes. I have this cute one. Maybe I will cut and see if I can get it to fit in there without a magnet too. 
Anyway, so here she is, little Piper. I'm not sure what we're going to name her. I haven't thought of a name yet. I actually didn't even think she'd be here this fast. I thought her box was another baby I ordered, which now seems, when I looked it up, because this wasn't her, it might be lost. It hasn't updated in like five days, and it was coming from Canada, so. Fingers crossed she shows up. Little sunken in eyes with her big old forehead. So welcome, little Piper. Made by Sherry Ron, right? Yeah. She's a little 18 inches of pure adorableness. So hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Look how good her head is weighted and stuff. She just, I just like how she's weighted. Perfect little baby. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we will see you again soon. Love you guys. Bye.